Now, it's been two days since the Ghana Online Drivers Union called a sit-down strike to protest what they say is unfair treatment and poor conditions of service. The union is made up of drivers from ride-hailing firms such as Uber and Bolt. I'm joined by Francis Tenge, who is president uh, with the latest on the sit-down strike. Uh, Francis, great to have you on the marketplace. So this was supposed to be a two-day strike. Has it been called off? Francis, if you could unmute for us so we can hear you. Okay, I'm waiting for Francis to unmute. Hopefully you can hear him. Uh, but the... Hey, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Ah, great. I can hear you now, Francis. So I was Good. asking if your two-day sit-down strike has been called off. Yes, please. Uh, we are uh, currently uh, the two-day strike, national two-day strike. Let me make this correction. Uh, the uh, strike started in um, two days ago in mm. Accra, Cape Coast, Accra, in Kumasi, respectively. Okay. We ended yesterday, yes. So what has been the outcome? I know that you had some concerns to do with uh, conditions of service and uh, the welfare, generally, of uh, the ride-hailing drivers. Yes, uh, that, was, that is true. Actually, we petitioned the office of the president uh, we are, and we also copied the DDLA, Ministry of Transport, Ministry of National Security, uh, Ministry of uh, uh, Road, uh, National Road Safety Authority. Mm. We also copied the uh, 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 Council of State. These are all major stakeholders in our uh, field of work, the online driving. So yesterday we had a meeting with the DDLA, and apparently they also don't know some of the issues on the ground. For instance, they were they gave us guidelines that drivers are supposed to pay an amount of money not to verify our driver's license. The car owners were also to pay 60 cities to verify the car and then a, a roadworthy issue. So well, at the meeting, we made it known to them that Bolt and Uber has combined both uh, uh, fees that should be paid by the driver. So instead of the car owner taking their part and the driver also uh, paying their part. So they said they are going to review it and they don't get back to us. Okay, but then you had other concerns to do with security as well. Um, how are those issues being addressed? Are you hearing from the operators, Uber, Bolt? Are you hearing from them? No, as we speak in Ghana here, Uber and Bolt, according to their policies, they don't recognize unions, such as the Ghana Online Drivers Union. They don't recognize that. But we, we petition and copy the, the national security and the Ghana police so that they, they, they have to come in through the Ministry of Transport and ask these app, uh, operators to look at the security aspect. As we speak now, drivers are not safe, riders are not safe. They have four drivers being killed already. That's so unfortunate. So we to have a meeting, a dialogue with the national security and the, the uh, police side, MTTD, uh, as to how best we can solve the, the security aspect of online uh, uh, system or business. So, um, do you think your issues are mainly because you're treated as um, self-employed? I'm asking this because in the UK, the Supreme Court recently ruled that Uber drivers should be treated as workers. Is this something you think you should push for? Yes, we are working on it. Uh, in the UK, the Labour Department, the Labour Commission, uh, took that initiative through uh, a couple of drivers who took Uber to, to court. And then the labor uh, system came in place. In Ghana here, this is a new system that is, 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 that is being introduced in our, in our country. Mm. So we are also encouraging the labor department, the labor commission, the minister of employment, all the ministries, they should all come together and see how best we can solve this issue. Because they see drivers as independent contractors. But they have forgotten that online drivers rent the car. The cars are not for the drivers. We rent the car and we make weekly sales. So if they can also adjust the system such that we won't work for the hours on Uber, we work on Uber for 12 hours, on on board, 60 hours. So as we are working on this uh, long hours, we need to be paid. We need to be paid. How can this be real through the Labor Commission, through the Ministry of Labor and, uh, and, 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 and Employment? An option definitely worth looking at. Final one, uh, we've been talking about fuel prices going up uh, soon. Um, and we've seen adjustments being made um, over over the past few months. Now, how are your managers handling this? And could we see that impact on your fares as well? Very, very much. It, it negatively. Uh, before I used Suzuki Auto, I used to buy 70 CDs a day. Mm. Now I'm buying 100 Ghana CDs. 
That means every week I'm make, I'm buying four of six hundred Ghana cities. It is too much plus my weekly sales of four hundred. That is one thousand. Mm. And Uber and Bob also taking a twenty five, a whooping twenty five and twenty percent respectively. And so the increase in fuel prices has burdened with the online drivers, and it's really really uh, causing our 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 our, our activities. No. It's, it's really bad. It's very, very, very bad. Outrageous. Okay. Uh, 100 Ghana cities full every day. Hopefully, your managers will respond. But thank you so much, uh, Francis Atinge, who is the president of the Ghana Online Drivers Union, made up of uh, ride hailing drivers uh, from companies such as Uber and Boat, uh, talking to us about their two day uh, strike that has now been called off and the headway they may join those two days.